welcome to Parenting Essentials for this week. This is the home of key strategies to parenting. You are welcome. On today's episode, I'll be teaching you how to help your child express his or her feelings. Children have a lot of feelings that go on within them. And sometimes, they lack the right word to tell you how exactly they feel. So, what are the ways that we as parents, that you as parent, can teach your child to express his or her feelings? Number one, as a parent, form the habit of expressing your feeling. Express your own feeling most especially if they ask you mommy are you okay i'm just going to cite an example about six months ago my daddy passed and you know the emotion was there even though i was trying to stay strong but you know a little bit of not being myself is obviously dead and my children could notice that something wasn't right. So they kept asking, Mommy, are you okay? I said, yes. Mommy, are you okay? Because I couldn't contain the feeling. So they noticed again and they asked me, Mommy, are you okay? I said, yes, I'll, of course I'll be okay. I'm okay. But I'm feeling like this because my daddy has gone to heaven. And I know I know I'll see him again. But you know, I miss him and things like that. So they get to understand with me. Oh, mommy's like that because grandpa passed. So after that, I realized more how important it is for us to express how we feel, especially to our children. Not only teaching them that it's good for them to express themselves, also it helps them to grow. Right from the moment I, I explained to my children what happened, and why I was feeling like that, they kept asking me, even till today, Mommy, if they notice that Mommy is quite down or I'm not active, they come to me, are you okay? Is it because Grandpa has gone to heaven? Is it because your daddy has gone? Are you fine? Don't worry. They kept, you know, are you like, oh, it's amazing. So I've been able to teach them through expressing my feelings. So as a parent, from the habit of expressing how you feel to your children, most especially when they ask. Another thing that you need to do to help your child express his or her feelings is to teach them some vocabularies around feelings, depending on the age and also your child. So you can use feelings resources like having a flashcard or a chat that have different faces and describing the kind of feelings that particular face represents, especially to early years. So you can even turn this to a game. You can have feelings game, you can let them walk around and you guys are dancing. They can pick a particular phrase and let them explain to you why is this face like this. So then you can teach them those vocabulary alongside. Why is this one like this? This face is excited. She's happy. This one is sad. So using resources is going to enhance your child to know about expressing said feelings. Another way you can help your child to express his or feeling the little words is to use some sensory activities. Use some sensory resources. A very good one is the kinetic sound. Can I see some? You can say, I can check that from, from Amazon. You can get it from Amazon. That is good for NH. It even is stress. So you can use kinetic sound. You know, it's like a muddy thing. It's like sandy. It's like it's looking wet. At the same time, it's not wet, it's dry. So this is a very good activity and it's going to enhance your child expression of feelings. I want you to know that you cannot stop your child from the way he or she is feeling. Even if he says, stop that. Don't cry. Don't put sad face. No, that is not the right way to do it. You can't stop anyone 
from feeling exactly the way they feel. They will feel like that anyways. You can use empathy to help them to express how they feel or to avoid frustration. If there's anything you want to try out on today's episode is for you as a parent to form the habit of expressing your own feeling. Don't forget, you can't stop your child from the feeling he or she is having, but you can use empathy to help your child to speak out and to avoid frustrations. Thank you for joining me on today's episode on how to help your child to express his or her feelings. If you're new here, my name is Oye, Oye Lion, and I am your parenting coach. Don't forget that all our videos are available on our YouTube channel. Check out the Vision Guide YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we drop new videos. So, I'll see you again next week. Do have an amazing and fantastic weekend. Bye for now.